me as a favor to you. Thank you. Sorry, I had to apply the condom there. Well, probably to lower one of those bronze on it. Since you're making me do this, I get Amy. The hell you do. Which one's Amy? Amy's the one who overcame the eating disorder. Starving yourself or throwing up? Does it make a difference? That was a good pain for dinner. Amy is the brunette. Got it. So I have Jeff. You mean Beth. All right, I mean for blonde. B can also be for brunette. But Amy's the brunette. She can be A for anorexic. Plus, it's B for bulimic. Good point. We're gonna need a new system. You smell something? Yeah. What is that? I think you do these things just to piss me off. God, what happened? Well, I was trying to put it out. My brother stupidly called the fire department. Why is that stupid? Have you seen a mountain fireman recently? They're all young, buff surfer dudes whipping their big hoses around. Amy and Beth jumped on their hook and ladder like a couple of Dalmatians. Never saw them again. Ah, yes, the Malibu Fire Department. I have several patients who compulsively masturbate to their calendar. I'm kidding. Both sexes. So anyway, Charlie, I'm still not clear on what it is you would like me to help you with. Uh, your anger issues? Your sexual issues? Drinking? No, no, no. That's all cool. Then tell me, why are you Okay, well, I'm here to lay some groundwork for the future. Some groundwork? Yeah, I've come to realize that there's a very good chance that I might someday snap and kill my brother. And I figure if I'm already under a psychiatrist's care, then I can always cop an insanity plan. You're thinking of killing your brother? <laughs> Doctor, patient, confidential. <laughs> in the drawer by the coffee machine. Hey, what do you think of this for the new drapes? Too small. <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of cheerful. I'll put it in the maybe pile. <laughs> I do that. You know, we're also going to have to reupholster the couch. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of water damage, which, quite frankly, I think was the result of the fire and showing off of the girls. You could be right. <laughs> you know, I just want to tell you, I, I really appreciate you sticking by me in the past couple of days, you know, pulling me out of my funk. You really are a great brother. I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't know what I'd do without you either. <laughs> Golly, sure I find to think about. Man.
We're going to that conference.